hi everybody this is city readings and hi gemini let's see what messages are going to show up for you in case this reading resonates with you gemini there will be a link in the description box to the extended you can also have a look at your yearly predictions in the description box below what do we have for gemini also towards the end of the reading i'm going to be giving you oracle messages as well um so yes let's see Ace of Swords moving forward. There is a new idea, something new here that you're exploring, Gemini, and a very happy birthday to all the Geminis out there. Uh, but yeah, there's something new that you are exploring. There's something new that you're moving towards, okay? A new idea, a new beginning here, Five of Swords. There is a lot of um, third eye chakra energy and throat chakra energy. So this is really about your communication, your self-expression, and then your intuition. How is that guiding you forward? Okay. Wow. I feel like you're unsure of something here, Gemini, something here that you're moving towards. It may be giving you like, this energy of I'm not sure you know it, it's like you have doubts or this second guessing energy towards something but with that lovers being here I do feel like you're making a conscious decision to choose yourself here there could be someone you're in love with they are on your mind but you're also going through a phase of awakening um, this is Cancer Gemini Pisces Leo energy three of cups some of you could be meeting up with friends or you could be socializing. Of course, this is your birthday season. Three of Cups of celebration, friendships, things like that, okay? The person that you're dealing with, their energy is the Fool card. Someone here wants to have a new beginning with you. It's like this is someone here who just wants to go for it, okay? That's that's the energy here that they have towards you. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go for it. So let's see. Four of Swords reverse. <laughs> I feel like you're in that energy where you just want to do it, where you just want to make things happen. There's a lot of potential, a new beginning here with that Ace of Pentacles, something here that you can create for yourself, Gemini. Um, a new beginning, a new start. And Ace of Pentacles always has a lot of potential. So this is great. A new idea that you're exploring has great potential. Page of Cups is in the reverse for your advice three of swords ace of wands i feel like you've gotten heartbroken in the past it does look like whoever this was you had you had gr great chemistry with this person gemini but i'm also getting that this is something that left you feeling quite heartbroken because i feel like if you look at yourself you don't really need a person but or it's like someone here wanted to still be independent while being in a relationship which means i don't know it could be an open relationship i don't know what this is like but it's like not feeling confined to the commitment okay um give me one more card on gemini's advice I feel like Gemini, your advice here is not to make <laughs> make things worse for yourself, which I which I feel like is also connected to the moon energy. Some of you may have Cancer Pisces placements. If you do, you may want to check out their reading. But I do feel like um, Gemini, your advice here is to view things view something from a different perspective um, and not repeat something. I feel like a part of your advice here is just also to surrender.
There's something you have doubts about that you're being asked here to surrender, okay? Mm, what's that five of swords energy? What's that five of swords energy, please? of pentacles some of you may have competition in your workplace or there could be that energy of competing here with someone um, that could be a little bit of a challenge for you but i feel like you're very determined gemini and you are very motivated to create something here okay and with that ace of swords that started your reading it's like you have a changed mindset already and you're very motivated to create something these days and this is the best time for you to manifest money and abundance what's that fool card for the person coming towards gemini temperance this person could have sagittarius Aries placements this is someone here who with that king of swords and the ace of cups they've been watching you but i feel like with the ace of cups they want to express themselves but with that king of swords energy this this person like I feel like you're dealing with a person who does not really like to express themselves too much <sighs> or they're silent but with that fool and the temperance here someone wants to go for it because with that temperance they may they might have been silent but with the fool card here I feel like they will open up to you This is someone who's coming in with an intention to solve something with you or to make it up to you. I feel like you might have had a conflict with this person um, and things were seeming very scattered in the past and they gave things some time. But with the Fool card here, now they're wanting to show up for you, okay? And I feel like you also have this person on your mind, Gemini. Ten of Cups. You want this person, Gemini. Your energy towards them is the Ten of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Sun card. So this person does make you happy. But the thing here is that you're you're running out of patience. Okay. What's that judgment? Six of Cups. Some of you are well aware that someone's going to be back in your life and you do feel a very strong soulmate connection with someone but i feel like you're you're to the point here where yes you feel it but that's not all that you think about because with the ace of pentacles ace of swords here you have new things that you're looking forward to uh, money wise new ideas that you're exploring and this is not the only thing that's on your mind okay ace of cups You have a lot of aces showing up and ace of wands also showed up earlier in your reading. So I feel like Gemini, this is your time. Mm, but what are you stressed out about? Nine of swords and the moon. This is a lot of stress and anxiety. Some of you could be stressed out at nighttime or you may be having a hard time sleeping. There's just this heavy energy here around, you know, this is like a sense of restlessness, okay? Let's see. Wisdom. It's like diving deep into something. Some of you, maybe you like to swim. The color blue is showing up a lot for you here and that could be the color of the month for you. Um, but let's see, wisdom.
Depths of the sea. Things are not as they seem. Look beneath the surface in your life. For example, you might feel that you aren't making progress on a particular project, yet beneath the surface things are happening, or you might be going through a stormy cycle. This card is letting you know that even though the surface of your even though the surface of your life might be a bit rocky or wobbly, in a deeper place all is well and serenity and peace are emerging. Things that may seem challenging will later be revealed. Sorry, will later be revealed to have been beneficial. Okay. Now let's see. We have chop wood. There's something you're cutting out of your life or there's something you need to cut out of your life. Um, here and now. Some of you could be 32, 33 years old, 42 years old. Number four, two, and three are significant here. So I really feel like Gemini, this is a time for you to be in the present moment. You know, a lot of our worries are also caused by us just overthinking. And this is kind of like telling you to stay in the present moment. And also, you know, trusting your own wisdom here with this card. Some of you are doubting yourself clean it up some of you could be cleaning your home or cleaning your closet or something and it is a time for you to move forward sometimes we just need to also cut out certain people from our life so that's about it gemini those were the messages that showed up for you hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already have a look at the extended link below and i'll see you guys next time